Hi guys, welcome back to this episode. In this episode, we will talk about the architecture, what we will achieve at the, by the end of this course, and uh, by which no way we will uh, do that. Okay, for the architecture, we have uh, three hosts, okay, two virtual VM on which you will deploy your uh, the broker, the Kafka broker uh, component, and also the Zookeeper, Zookeeper component. Okay, so we have three hosts, which uh, we, those three hosts will uh, build our Kafka cluster. Okay, and from the, uh, to this uh, Kafka cluster at the uh, end of the uh, construction of our Kafka cluster, we will be able to build a Java application. A Java application we build it, we deploy a new Java application to permit us uh, to coming. Let me show you to coming and uh, to come in a, a Java application producer, okay, producer to come in and uh, write uh, into our Kafka cluster, okay, we uh, create some producers uh, application Java, and also we create also another Java application for the consumer part, we will come into our Kafka cluster to retrieve uh, the different events that has been uh, pushed or written, written before by the producer. Okay, uh, let me show you first of the Kafka cluster, how it, it will appear. It, is, it will appear like that. Um, we will have a web interface for manage our cluster. It will appear like that. Okay, we have uh, some more topics. So let me show you the brokers. We have three, three hosts. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, and uh, we have some topics as you can see there. The topics uh, where we have a different event that has been, that will be stored in, okay. And uh, from this topic, uh, we have uh, so a Java applications. Let me show you where we, what that will develop through the Eclipse idea, okay. We let me show some function and uh, me for that we create uh, to build our Java application that will permit us to uh, consume the event and also. Uh, produce events in our uh, Kafka cluster. So it will really be amazing, a lot of things to learn by the end of this video. And uh, stay tuned and uh, be sure that you have all the prerequisites that you will need to follow this course. Okay, so thank you very much and I'll see you for the next episode. Hi guys, let's talk about our training lab environment. environment. We will use uh, a physical machine that will be virtualized, okay? And uh, but before virtualize this machine, we will install a CentOS 7 uh, uh, in this uh, physical machine. And this uh, physical machine will virtualize uh, through the KV environment. But anyway, from your side, if you have a, a virtual box environment for creating virtual machine, it's okay. If you are also VMware workstation uh, environment also to deploy some virtual machine, uh, it's also okay from your side, okay? So don't worry. And uh, regarding the host, the host that will compose our uh, Kafka cluster will, will use uh, the Ubuntu 20, uh, 20.04, okay, uh, long-term release, okay, long-term support release, uh, and uh, the characteristic will be uh, 2 gig for the RAM and 2 CPU. And also we have uh, a high drive size of 10 gig. It will be enough for, for our uh, labs, okay? So from your side, if you have a virtual environment, it's okay. You can use this virtual environment with a virtual machine and you will be able to follow this course. Okay, so let me show you, uh, let me show you how this environment will look like. Uh, and I will have all those. Okay, I will have all the brokers node. Okay, and uh, it will be our environment. Okay, right now I'm on physical server and this physical server are being virtualized and I'm now able to deploy those virtual machine we based on Ubuntu, okay, operating system. Okay, so thank you very much and I'll see you for the next time where we will start the deployment of our Kafka cluster. Thank you very much. Bye from now. Hi guys, welcome back to this deployment of our uh, our cl Kafka cluster deployment on uh, Ubuntu, okay, 
for long-term support. Okay, so to, to do that, uh, we have prepared to you our deployment sheet. Okay, but before this uh, deployment sheet uh, requirement, I uh, have I have left you uh, if you want you interest to deploy your a Ubuntu 20.04 uh, version on KVM environment. I will let you recommend there. Okay, so let's start. For the installation, uh, these uh, steps have to do uh, have to be have to be done on whole nodes. Okay, on the host one, two, and three, you have to do the same action there. First, you have to update the etc host for etc host for the internal resolution. And uh, next steps, you have to update the, the repository. Okay, for Ubuntu repository. Uh, after that, we have to install uh, the GDK. It is a mandatory, so you are obliged to install this uh, GDK in your environment. After done that, you will uh, download the the Apache Kafka uh, distributions. Okay, version you will use of the version 3.0 uh, in this uh, training. Uh, next step, uh, we will create uh, the, our Kafka data uh, uh, locations. Okay, we will create it. Um, of course, you will enter the uh, files there in this location. You will, uh, after done that, you will uh, perform all the Zoop Kicker uh, properties uh, file update okay, by this information. This information is where we will specify all the cluster uh, node IPs. Okay? You have a broker one, two, and three. This one is uh, just of a host where is it, we are supposed to have our our other Zookeeper Zook, Zook components. Okay. Once done that, you will also update the server properties for the, our Kafka configuration. So in there, you will add uh, this uh, content there. This content is uh, all the minimal requirement uh, configuration that we have to uh, insert inside of this uh, uh, server properties file. Okay. Uh, next steps, we will uh, just uh, define how to start and stop the service through the systemd command line. Okay. We will uh, update this uh, Zookeeper, we create this Zookeeper file. Okay. To specify to our uh, to the Ubuntu system, uh, how to start and stop the service. We will do the same things for the Kafka service, how to stop and start uh, it. And uh, we, inside, within this file, we will uh, specify how the uh, GM export also we will permit us to retrieve of some performance information from the Kafka manager. Okay. So it will be a whole for there. So, so far, so good. Let's start the configuration. Great. Uh, so the first step is, is to update the etc host, as I talked before. And before that, let me uh, just uh, check some things. Yeah, okay, the name is not, uh, yeah. So from there, I will have the view content. Next step, so if you, if you want to have the host name, you can do it, but not required for my side. Perform the repository uh, update. Next steps, you reinstall the GDK. It is mandatory. So do that from your side also on all nodes. It will take some time, so just wait a bit.
Okay. So the solution has been uh, performed successfully. You can check. Yes, with Java version. Okay, you have 11. So great. Next step is to uh, download the our Kafka. Okay, binary. You have to install the, so you can go on the official uh, okay website to download it. Let me show you on the official website. We can we have to download the binary. Okay. Just copy, copy the links, and that I did, that as I did there, and uh, just uh, and uh, download the content. Okay, the binary. Let's check that it is uh, yes, great. So now I will create all the folder, our Kafka folder. I will create it where all the data will uh, live in. Once done that, I will uh, enter those uh, the content of the file uh, downloaded before. Downloaded before inside uh, the folder. Next step, I will create the Kafka directory where the data will uh, live in. I will do the same for the zookeeper also. Next step, I will generate the, the unique ID for zookeeper cluster. Now I will update the configuration file for the zookeeper to specify the, all the nodes of our cluster. Okay. Next steps, I will also configure uh, update the configuration for our Kafka also files. So it will be the server dot properties file. I have to specify that I have to and sell to the different parameters we need, okay? Great. Next steps, I will, uh, for the stop and start service services, grow the command line, the systemd uh, command line. I will uh, update the file zookeeper service within the systemd uh, okay, folder. Let's do that. Next step, so I will do the same thing for the Kafka service. And uh, I have already specified the GM export and uh, the Java home uh, locations. Once done that, uh, our cluster is ready. I can just, I will reload the daemon. I will uh, now st start the service. So first, you have to start off the Zookeeper first before start the Kafka service because uh, Kafka use the Zookeeper service. Uh, okay, this is a condition for starting the service. So this command uh, enable the service at the starting of at the boot time of a, of a virtual machine. If you stop the VM and you start it automatically, you're able to start the service the keeper. Okay, we'll do the same thing for the Kafka. So now mean permit has to start the service now after enable uh, at the boot time. So far, so good. So you can check the service status for the both service.
Okay, great, great, great. So the Zookeeper, the Kafka is up and running. The same thing for the Zookeeper. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, I will do the same things for the others node. Okay, for the, uh, the host uh, two and three, we will do the same things, and uh, I will come back to you after done that on the uh, on the others node. Thank you very much. See you. Okay, the installation has been uh, performed on others node. Okay, so right now we are on the broker through. Uh, broker tree, sorry. So as you can see here, we have uh, three brokers, three broker, and um, the leader will be the broker uh, one, as expected because we will perform the installation on this first on the broker one. It is normal. Okay. So thank you very much, and I'll see you for the next another lesson, uh, another episode. We will talk about of the deployment of. Uh, the Kafka Manager, okay, which is a web interface tool which permits has to manage easily our cluster to have a better view of our Kafka cluster. Okay, so thank you very much and see you there. Hi right, guys, welcome back to this episode. After the installation of, of our Kafka cluster, we will uh, deploy now a new tool or a new node which permits has to facilitate the administration of our Kafka cluster. Okay, this uh, new uh, node is uh, this one. Okay, it will be uh, a component that we will uh, deploy on another on another virtual machine. But you can also deploy uh, the, this tool inside this host. It's possible. It's up to you. But from my side, I, I, I will use another node, which will, will be uh, separate from uh, this uh, other uh, cluster node. Okay. But we can use this, this uh, uh, another host from this cluster to deploy the, the component. It's up to, up to you, okay, and very easy. So let's do that. And uh, I reconnect on this. So here I have a screen of, uh, of a broker tree. I will close that. Okay, and I go on the new one. On this. Uh, node okay on the cmk uh, node mm, let me reconnect mm -mm. okay great now uh, let me talk you about uh, the, the installation guide first from, first of all i have to to deploy this one we have to install uh, the, the java 11 it is mandatory to install this one and also i will update the etc roster to where i should uh, uh, i should put all of my uh, cluster nodes okay the broker one two and three okay it is uh, important they have to do that so let's update this uh, this file this file where I should have a whole my uh, node. Okay, you can ping. Be sure that uh, all uh, broker node has been reachable from this node. Okay, great. So I can reach over the cluster nodes. Next steps, I have to install the the GDK 11. But from before that, I have to update the all the yeah, great all the repository. Now I will be able to install the GDK 11 first. It is mandatory.
Okay, the installation is okay. We can check uh, Java version. Good. So next steps, we have to, we can now create a folder for the cluster manager for Apache Kafka, okay? Create a folder and within this folder, let's go inside it. I will clone the GitHub uh, project so that has been created for that. Okay, I will clone it. Let's be sure that the folder is there. Okay, great. Now I will go within this folder. Okay, and uh, from this, let's go there. In, let's go inside first. Yeah, I'll execute all this uh, compile. This, uh, this uh, script will compile all the project within this uh, virtual machine. It is very important. So I have to go inside the compiler of uh, this project. It'll, it will take uh, it sometimes, so don't worry. Great. Great, so the compile has been done successfully. Next step, we have to go within this uh, folder, target universal folder. It is, uh, we have to go inside this, okay. From there, we'll enter another package. Let me list. So I will go within the universal, universal uh, folder. Great. So from there, let list the content. I will enter this. Uh, okay, this package. So I think that I don't have a package or in zip package. So first let's install this one first to be able to use this command in zip command to, uh, to in zip of this or uh, unzip of this file. Okay. Okay, great. Now I can zip the, this file. So let's do that. So let's list. I will go within the, the new content, the new folder. I will go inside it. I will list the content and now what I will do it is uh, to edit the, this file, the cont file, the, the application file within, within this folder, okay? This application file. So I will go inside this application file, okay? Let's uh, edit this file. And uh, on the I will look in for these sections, okay? This uh, CMAK, CMAK uh, uh, Zookeeper host, okay? I have to look in for this uh, line and update like that, okay? So I will do it. Let's copy and increase the size of this. I'm going down. Where are you? Yeah. I'm here. So 
I recommend this one and add a new line grid. So all my cluster nodes will be uh, set there. Next step is uh, now simple. I can everything has been the bad, uh, the hard work has been done. I can start the Kafka manager right now. Okay, so to launch it, it is uh, very simple, and uh, I can launch this command. For example, if I want to listen on this uh, port, I can launch the command. Let me clear this view. And execute the command. Great. So now let's open the mm, okay. And I use this port. Uh, don't worry, it is uh, this one that you choose. Great. Okay, so that's uh, amazing. That's amazing. Let's create a new add a cluster. I will see. Um, Cluster, for example, CMK cluster. I will I will use this name. I don't have another one over my mind. And regarding the bracket, copy and paste. The version that I use it is three point zero. So I will specify that I will enable the GMS pooling. Yeah, and also pulling the customer the customer information is okay. So I'm um, okay and ready. And once done that, I can just uh, save. Done. Great. 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 So I can see the cluster information. I have uh, yeah, I have three brokers. That's amazing. Three brokers, and as I have set up the. Uh, the GM mixer information, the configuration, this port has been enabled. Okay. So next step is uh, to list uh, all the topic. Yeah. Yeah. Normally from your side by default, uh, you will not have uh, those one created because uh, I have an application which is on running and listen on listening on this port because that I have by default of this information. But from your side, you will not have all this. Uh, you will have, you will also you will have only this topic created from your side. But anyway, that amazing the the our manager has been uh, set up uh, successfully. So thank you very much, and I'll see you for the next lesson. And uh, we'll talk about uh, how to deploy also the. This uh, the Kafka in Windows environment, and also how to develop a a Java application like this one, Java application, in order to be able to reach to consume data from the to consume data from the cluster, and also how to retrieve data from uh, the how to write logs or event to the cluster. Okay, so we'll talk about how to develop this kind of Java application. So thank you very much. Thank you very much everybody and see you. Bye from now. Hi guys, welcome back to this episode. Uh, we'll talk about how to install Kafka 
Apache Kafka in Windows environment. Okay, to achieve that is a bit, a bit uh, simple. Go to the official website, okay, of Apache Kafka. Okay, so from there, you will go on the down, downloader section, okay. So the version that we will install is uh, in this environment for this course is uh, the version 2.8, uh, okay? So I will uh, download and install this version. Let's click on that. I have already done that. So I will just open the folder. I have already uh, downloaded this one before, okay? So just I will just quote copy this uh, file, okay? And uh, I will go to the root folder of uh, of my uh, environment and create a new folder called Kafka. Say, yeah. So from there, I will go inside and uh, paste the content, and I will enter this content. Okay. Once done that, go inside this one. And then I cut and go back there and uh, yeah, great. So now I will remove just all the previous. Uh, great. Now my uh, Apache Kafka um, files are is uh, on my window environment. So, so far, so good. So, to start the, the application, it's a bit simple. Just open the command line in your system. Open the command line. Okay, I will use it, uh, open it as an administrator. Once opened, once opened, I will go inside of this folder. Okay, so go inside of this fold, the Kafka folder from, from there I can uh, once, the, once there I can execute of the, the starting of the application we have first have to start the zookeeper okay application first and after start of the Apache Kafka uh, component okay so to achieve that I have already prepared to you the command normally the right command is this one Okay, you have to execute this command in your environment to start the Zookeeper service. Okay, and uh, this command starts permit harder to open a second Windows. Okay, second uh, uh, Windows. You will see how it will work. Let me show you. Yeah, this second Windows. This second Windows is due to this is due uh, to this command okay this start command okay so now let's see the yes yeah, the zookeeper zookeeper is the start right now so next i will now uh, start the apache kafka application let's copy it and paste it. So far, so good. And I will open it, start it, and just see what's going on. Yeah, okay, so the application is running right now. That means that our Apache Kafka application is up and running. How to be sure that is running? You will uh, now start a, a consumer, okay, a, a producer and a consumer application, okay? So we will create a new topic. I can say uh, topic T1, for example. I will create a new topic. I create a topic T1, for example, and uh, I will write in this topic. Okay, and uh, I will use uh, a console consumer to to read uh, the the content of this topic. Okay. So this console producer, this Kafka console is just uh, a tool to test that your your Kafka environment is up and ready, okay? Is or it's uh, it's running or not, okay? By this way, I will uh, have to 
this localhost means that I'm on my local machine. If you have a remote remote host, we can also use this command to test if you have a remote or cluster to see if the cluster, cluster is working or not. Okay. So in my case, it is on my local host. So I will let it like this one. So let's create a new topic. Topic T1. Yeah. Let's resize the screen. Yeah. And let's create a, this one is a producer. And uh, let's open another windows for the consumer. Okay. For the consumer, I will create a new, another windows. I will open another windows. And I will see what will go in on. Yeah, my fault. Copy. Okay. So let's create, uh, open. Windows for the consumer. So right now, let's see. I will show you what will go in home. Yeah. So let's say um, course. I will send a create a inside this topic uh, T1. I will create a new event. Yeah, as you can see, this new event has been read by the, our uh, consumer. Okay, so let's create an, another topic. Testing uh, file, for example. Great. So that means that that our uh, Apache environment is up. Uh, Apache Kafka environment is up and running in my local environment. So that's great. That's amazing. So. So far, so good. So far, so good. Hi right, guys, welcome back to this course. Okay, here we will talk about how to create a new Java app application, which will be able to send events to our Kafka cluster. Okay, so we will use a, we will build a tiny uh, Java application with a REST controller, which will be supposed to register all the action done by user through the web interface okay we will have so this uh, rest controller application java application will just register the event like a uh, name of a user the duration passed on uh, the duration on the web page the username and all those inf information will be sent to the, our kafka cluster okay through a topic so we'll do this tiny uh, java, java application uh, rapidly to show you how you can create a Java application for produce event or in destination of our Kafka cluster. Okay, so let's do it. To achieve that, let's open our idea. Okay, click Eclipse. You can use another one, but in my, my for this course, I will use Eclipse. Okay, so I will open a new project. It will be a Spring Booter application. Okay, so if you, you have to activate so this option, Spring Boot application, new project. Let's do that. Uh, I will call it uh, Kafka. App. Okay, event, simply. I will call it like that. Okay. And uh, regarding uh, our use of uh, Java version 8, okay, um, I will left uh, all the options there. It's up to you, but you can change it. For my side, it is enough to launch the project. I will uh, select the different dependencies, okay. I will use uh, the dependency regarding uh, the relatively Spring uh, web application. I will use Spring web, okay. Yes, dependency. The second dependency will be a uh, uh, Lombok dependence. Uh, I have already this one here. I will use also the Spring. Uh, I will not pass that data as it is, it is a tiny application, so I will not use that, uh, Spring data to pass information. I will use that Spring uh, for Kafka. Okay. 
and uh, you use also a spring of for Kafka uh, stream. And the last uh, dependencies that I will use is, is Cloud Stream. Okay, we will use uh, all those uh, dependencies uh, in our tiny application. Okay. And uh, next, uh, it is enough for a fin end finish. So the first, let the environment create the project. Mm, okay. Okay, project has been built successfully. So next step, I will go there and uh, I will create a new, uh, the first class of our project will be an uh, entity which will register, which will have uh, all the information of the users. Okay, so let's create a new class. It will be in the Entity or entities, entity folders, yeah, and I will call it, I will call it page events, okay. Regarding the attribute, I will uh, use the first a string attribute for the for the name of the user, yeah or the name of the page that your user uh, visit, okay? And uh, the second will be the a string of it will be the username, yeah. Uh, the third attribute will be uh, the date where the user visited the, this page. It will be a, uh, sorry, uh, private. And uh, to be edit yeah. Next, uh, you have a duration. How time? How many times of this uh, this user has spent in this page, for example. To be long and we say duration and great okay as I added the long book I will add the different uh, annotations okay that up the second annotation will be a no gag no arg Constructor, okay. The third will be or all constructor will be add with that you will be add by the lumbok, okay. And uh, the constructor to string. Great. Okay, once done that, I can now my uh, entity has been uh, successfully created. I will not persist, so I will. I will. I don't. I will have no, not intention to send those information to a database. So I will let. I will not uh, create, uh, add the entity uh, annotation to this uh, class. Okay. Next steps. I will create uh, a our REST controller. Okay. Will be here. in the web package. To be page event, page event controller. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing to do here, I will create uh, a new 
effort which will be a return an object of type page event okay yeah and uh, the name will be uh, published simply the name will be published not more and uh, what uh, regarding the argument uh, first uh, we'll this uh, we have to have get mapping okay you receive uh, in an argument uh, will publish and the topic name in parameter and the next uh, the name of the page okay so Great, now I will fill up this information uh, retrieval by the by this function uh, to the parameters. Okay, I will say at path variable. Yeah, to be string and topic first, and the second variable. Be also string, it will be the name, the page name simply. And now we can start uh, to code our method. Okay, you will have uh, you will create an, an object uh, page event. event will uh, new page event That uh, from entity, yeah, okay. Yeah, we have a name with. This name, uh, I will. Uh, what you will do is to retrieve the name of this one, okay? And uh, regarding this, the username, I will have uh, a random. Uh, has uh, I will have a randoming uh, choosing the name, okay? I will randomly use the name, so I will use the method mat. Yeah, I will see. Just to permit me to you uh, to uh, uh, have randomly two names so that will change uh, from the times, okay? Okay. So between between the both name. The both uh, parameters of the system you will uh, take one or one or others, okay? So the, this uh, 
the username will be uh, this A1 or A3, for example. Okay, just to not stack at this time here. And the next uh, will be uh, the edit. We did date. Yeah, the date where the registration has been done. And next here, the duration, I will uh, use uh, a random duration. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, and we just, this duration will be from uh, 0 to 9000. Okay. So great. Now I can. Uh, this object has been successfully created. Okay. And uh, I will have to create another, another object, which will be uh, our. This object will permit her to send this, uh, to produce this event uh, and uh, send it uh, to the, our, uh, our cluster. Okay. So this uh, object will be. Uh, a stream bridge okay object Which and I will add the annotation of the wire. Okay, and uh, this one is the REST controller, so add this annotation. Next step after we have to send the topic row this uh, ob the object created we have a name which will be a topic and uh, the page event okay is that good and uh, this function has to uh, return an object okay return simply a page event so so far so good so you can uh, save it let's do a last control so now we can uh, test our application and see the result. Okay. Normally we will uh, let's start it first. Start the application. So an error is exist. Um, let's have a look. The 
here it's okay oh sorry at fault page event uh, oh, types okay sorry okay okay so now i can execute uh, Okay, application has been started. Okay, so I can launch my browser and localhost. By default, report uh, is uh, 8080. moment which mm, was that everything has been uh, successfully okay yeah, okay here. And rest controller. And what else? Okay, good. Uh, so, so far, so good. We're okay now. So, it is published. The topic name is um, T1, for example, and uh, the page name will be a uh, uh, blog, for example, blog. Ah, one moment, we didn't start yet our cluster, okay? You have to be sure that the cluster is up and running. Because right now, the, the, as you can see, could not be established, okay? So we have to start our cluster. So moment, a moment, please. We'll open a new... If you remember, you have to go in this uh, folder. Open. Okay, and uh, from there we will launch. Uh, we will start uh, our cluster. Okay, so first step is to start uh, with Zucuber. Great, 
and the start of a cluster. Okay, so now let's go back. I will stop the app and relaunch it again. Great. Great. So the event has been successfully uh, uh, the, topic has, the topic has been successfully uh, sent to our cluster. Okay, so that's good. That's amazing. So you can launch of the producer and uh, the console producer to see the result of this uh, uh, information. You can do that. One moment, I will uh, open a producer, a console, a console consumer. Console consumer, the topic name was uh, T1. Okay, so you say T1. We want to see the content of this copy. Uh, Local host. So let's create again. I will update and I will see the result. Yeah, here we go. So by this way, I will say show you. How with a uh, uh, Java application you can uh, create some event uh, and uh, register it or send it to our Kafka cluster, okay? And uh, we have we use of the console, okay? The console uh, to permit us to retrieve the content of this uh, message or of the different logs or the different uh, events that has been produced by the this uh, application, okay? So let me just sum up the flow. From the web interface, we have generated some information of the users and uh, the application catch this information, okay, and send it uh, to our cluster, Kafka cluster. By default, by default, as if you see very well, in the application properties, nothing has been mentioned. We, have, we didn't mention uh, the 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 destination of the Kafka uh, target or cluster. Okay, by default, uh, the application suppose that the, the the cluster is locally, okay, or is on a local host. Okay, but if, if you want to specify the uh, destination IP address or the, des the Kafka IP address, it's possible to it it in the application properties. Okay. In this, uh, in the becoming uh, session or episode, we'll show you how you can edit this application properties in order to specify uh, your cluster IP address. Okay, so so far so good. Let's you for another lesson. For the next lesson, we will show you how from the Java application how you can uh, uh, consume the event. Okay, because right now we, we just use uh, this uh, this console, which is a for the testing purpose, okay. For the testing purpose, we have to use. You can use of a console consumer to see uh, the content of the topic. But I will show you from your Java application how you can uh, retrieve uh, the content of any topic uh, from a, ca uh, a Kafka, Kafka cluster. Okay. So see you for the next uh, episode or topic, and uh, bye from now. Thank you. 
Hi guys, welcome back. We will now create a new Java applications or we will use we will reuse our pure views Java application in order to add a new event consumer. Okay, but just just for time saving, okay. But if you want you can create different applications for each uh, part. But for my side for just time saving, I will reuse of a the previous applications okay and uh, i will create uh, another uh, section which permit has to read or uh, read all the content of a different uh, uh, consumer of the topic content okay so to achieve that i will create a new uh, service which permit has, has uh, from the application to uh, read data from the topic okay so to do to achieve that it's, it is pretty simple create a new service uh, to do that, let me create a new class, Java class, and uh, create a service. Service, service, and uh, I will create, I will call it a page event. Page event service, okay, simply. So far, so good, and uh, finish. Okay, so from there, it is will it will be a, a service. Also, add the annotation, service annotation. Yeah, and uh, we will create uh, a a, uh, a method that will return a function. Okay, a consumer function. Yeah, and uh, this uh, function consumer the page event, okay? From the entity. Yeah. And uh, the name of this function will be, uh, of the method will be page event. Uh, consumer okay simply consumer yeah and uh, we have no parameter as to just for reading and uh, we return over this input okay it is very simply to read data from a from a cluster Kafka You say, for example, I can uh, print the data, or if here it I can do many things. Okay, if I want to uh, save uh, the data inside a, a, a remote database, I can do it there. But here, just for the simplicity uh, and of time saving, I will, I will just print out the, the the output data. Okay. Yes, for time saving, okay. And uh, as input, I uh, will say, uh, get uh, the name, for example. I can say it. Uh, Yeah, I can just print this information and not more. It's up to me. Um, what things else? Okay, once done that. And uh, we have to specify here it is okay for me, but if you want to save this information in database or, or any anything else, you can do it uh, over there, okay? 
Yeah, I will, I will just print all this information uh, from the topic, okay? And uh, to tell to the application that you want this function have to read to this specific topic, you have to update the application properties, okay? With this uh, information, Spring Cloud. Spring Cloud. Spring Cloud uh, stream binding. Binding. Okay, it is okay. And uh, page event. So now I have to specify the name of the function that we want to this page event customer. Okay, so copy. Dash in dash zero and destination. Okay. And the name of the topic. T1 simply. Okay, I can save it right now. Right now, I can save it and uh, I will uh, launch the application right now. Great. So let me go back here. Okay, and uh, I will uh, update again this one. I will do it again. Let me see. The topic was uh, G1, okay, I'm okay, and uh, think that uh, something's wrong. Ah, okay. I forgot to specify the, the bin annotation, okay? Yeah, it's all my fault. Okay, so let's restart again. Now everything will be uh, normally okay. So let's test again. So far so good. Okay, and let's see the result. Great. Okay, it is blog the name. I can uh, uh, block uh, one for example. Let's see it. Block one. 
and I will see the result here. Block one. Okay, that's great. So it's how you can uh, let, you can uh, check a topic inside a cluster and uh, retrieve the information from this topic. So from the Java application. So it is this by this tiny code. It is not uh, too big. Okay. So by this way, you can interact with a cluster, it, with, a, with a, a cluster, a Kafka cluster, and uh, be able to uh, retrieve uh, topics or information. Okay. And if you want to specify uh, the destinations, okay, the your your cluster IP address it is very simple. It is Spring. You have to can do these annotations here. These are these are parameters in your in your application properties. It is Spring Spring Kafka Kafka. And uh, we have to specify it is a if it is uh, a consumer, you have to say consumer. Consumer dot and bootstrap server. Okay. And of uh, your server for it is localhost. Okay, and uh, the port, for example, here it is by default is uh, this port. And if you have another, if you have another server, you can put the IP address of your Kafka cluster uh, IP, for example. Okay, it will be it is for consumer. It is it is the same for your for the producer. Okay, for the producer, it is the same. We have to say just producer. Simply and uh, specify the IP address. Okay. Simply. So thank you very much, and uh, see you for the next for the next uh, lesson. And uh, bye from now.